love going into the collection room and pull out one of these boxes. I can hit my gloves on. Wait a minute. Every one of these boxes is like a little treasure chest. Oh, this one is Oya Tops. Look at this. Look at these guys. Oh, what fun. Isn't this fun? <laughs> Beautiful black and white. Interlock terrorist units. Mm, I'm going to look at them all before I start talking too much about dates. This one, I don't know, it's hard to tell with no pigment at all. Yeah, I probably, well, that could be Earl, that could be Socorro, that could be, it almost looks shaped, doesn't it? A lot of these do, I noticed that. They seem to be cut. Oh, there's a nice one. Oh, that's a Masaki. That's Masaki Brown on Buff. I'm glad I pulled that out of there. I'm going to put that, I'm going to have a talk about Masaki Brown on Buff. This one is very interesting. This is uh, probably a Cedar Creek. I, you know, I know there's no white on it, but it really looks like a Cedar Creek. I could be wrong. This says the green glaze. This is cool. This is a Pinawa glaze on white. Very nice. It's shiny green manganese. Eh, Pinedale, probably. Probably Tularosa. Look at that rim. Holy cow. All right, we have Oya Tops. This one uh, could be a Cedar Creek. It's it's the Tularosa Pinedale era. I know where this came from, but that slip is so thick. I did want to uh, mention the how clean this is cut. This was probably used in another manner after the pot was broken. This is a little earlier than Tularosa. I'm going to call this around 1100 AD. Probably Socorro. <sighs> probably Tularosa. Probably Tularosa. This is Pinawa Glaze on white. Very cool. Very late piece, 1400s. This is definitely Tularosa with the raised areola. This one I can't call. There's just not enough to tell me, you know, I can't make it.